Welcome to the introduction to firewalls. I am Liz von der Heiden. At the end of this video, you will know the answers to these three questions. What is a firewall? What is the difference between software and hardware firewalls? And what are the different types of firewalls? Firewalls are designed to permit or deny access to one network from another network. Anyone who has access to in the internet needs to implement firewalls. Every day we take precautions by locking our doors and our windows to protect ourselves and our families from intrusion. So instead of doors and windows, we use firewalls to act as a barrier to protect ourselves from hackers and unauthorized intrusion. Software firewalls are different than hardware firewalls in that it is easy to configure and inexpensive. You could configure the firewalls based on source and destination addresses and you, as you can see here in the early protection control center you can filter, the, filter them based on protocols and port numbers. However, Using software firewalls requires a lot of resources and you have to have the current operating system to be compatible. Hardware firewalls are usually routers and they route messages based on rules. Unlike the software firewall, hardware firewalls are independent of the operating system. They do not need a lot of resources, however, it is very difficult to configure. The types of firewalls we're going to discuss uh, are packet filtering, application gateway or also known as proxies, circuit level gateway, and stateful inspection. Packet filtering are based on packets. They inspect packets based on rules or what is known as access control lists. As you can see in this graph, the packet goes through the firewall and the firewall checks the rules. If the packet is allowed, then it goes through the network. Otherwise, the packet is blocked or discarded. Packet filtering only examine address and protocol information. It is simple and easy to implement and it is a first generation firewall. Application gateway or what is known as proxies, it acts as a middleman. The application gateway is the only machine that talks to the outside world. This ensures no computer has direct access to internal computers. It is highly secure method of protection. However, it requires large memory and processor resources. Proxies are second generation firewalls. The next one we're going to discuss is the circuit level gateway. It applies for TCP or UDP connection. and it monitors TCP handshaking between packets. So a circuit level gateway creates a circuit between the client computer and the server. Circuit level gateway hides information about the private network. And circuit level gateway is also considered as a second generation firewall. The last one we're going to discuss is the stateful inspection. Unlike the packet filtering which uses rules or ACLs, stateful inspections uses a state table. It is similar to a nosy neighbor. The nosy neighbor knows what's going on in the neighborhood any time of the day. It offers a high level of security and performance. 
However, it's hard to administer and very expensive. Stateful inspection is a third generation firewall. In today's high tech network environment, it is important to install fireworks to protect your data and systems from intrusions. Implementing firewalls would be easier now that you know that the firewall is part of computer systems that blocks or accept communications. You also know whether to implement a software and a hardware firewall. And implementing firewall is easier now that you know the different types of firewalls, pocket filtering, application gateway or proxies, circuit level, and stateful inspections. This concludes the introduction to firewalls. Thank you very much for listening.